Hello, fifth graders. Welcome to module four, lesson 23. And we're going to continue with this theme of comparing the size of our products to the size of our factors, OK? Um, except today, instead of using fractions, we're, we're, we're going to start incorporating some decimals, OK? So uh, yesterday and the day before, we talked about how multiplying a number times 1 gives you the same number. Okay, multiplying a number times something bigger than one gives you a bigger number, and multiplying a number times something smaller than one gives you a smaller number. Okay, so we are sizing our factors. Please go to the learn book, write your name, and let's get started. So today, instead of uh, fractions, which I, I'm sorry, I could have showed you here, 3 times 5 tenths equals 1 and 5 tenths, right? Okay, that's the same. Um, so instead of using fractions, we're going to use decimals. Now, fill in the blank using one of the following scaling factors to make each number sentence true. Okay, so here we have a number that's bigger than 1. Okay, here we have a number that's smaller than 1, and here we have a number that equals 1, just for your information. 3 and 4 tenths times what equals 3 and 4 tenths? Okay, well this one is just so easy, because the number didn't change, didn't, so we're just going to multiply by 1. 1. Okay, and this one, 21 hundredths times something is going to be bigger than 21 hundredths. So it's got to be something bigger than 1. So this one's bigger than 1. Okay. And here, they want something smaller than 8 and 4 hundredths. So we need some a number that's smaller than 1. Okay. This should be review for you, although we did it in fractions, now we're doing it in decimals, but the ideas haven't changed. Okay, bigger than one, smaller than one, equal to one. Sort the following expressions by rewriting them in the table. Okay, the product is less than the boxed number. Okay, so here are the box numbers. So the factoring number is this one, this is the one we're going to look at. If it's bigger than 1, or smaller than 1, or equal to 1, okay? The product is less than the box number. The product is greater than the box number, okay? I could have written that the other way, too. So, the product of this is going to be bigger or smaller than 13.8. Pretty sure, because this number is bigger than 1, not by much, but it is, it's bigger than 1, so our answer is going to be 13.8. Bigger than equals a number that is greater than 13.8. Okay, whatever it is, our answer is going to be bigger. So the product is less than the box number? No, the product is greater than the box number. This is going to be greater than that. So 13.89 times 1004. Okay. Next one. 3 tenths times 69 thousandths. Well, that is definitely less than 1. So it's going to be less than this number, isn't it? So 0, 3 tenths times 0, 0, 6, 9. Okay, next one. 602 times 489 thousandths. Well, 489 thousandths is definitely smaller than 1. So our product is going to be less than 602. Here, 72 hundredths times 1 and 24 hundredths. OK, 
Okay, this number is bigger than 1, so our answer is going to be bigger than 72 hundredths. So 0, 7, 2 times 1 and 24 hundredths. Okay, 102 and 3 hundredths times 4 and 15 thousandths. Well, 4 is definitely bigger, so our answer is going to be bigger than 102. 102 and 3 hundredths times 4 and 15 thousandths, okay? And 2 tenths times 1 tenth. Well, 1 tenth is less than 1. So that one's going to be less than 2 tenths. Okay. I hope these expressions are clear. These three numbers right here, I'll switch colors. This one, this one, and this one are all smaller than 1. This one, this one, and this one are all bigger than 1. Explain your sorting by writing a sentence that tells the expressions in each column of the table have in common. Okay, so what do they have in common? The product... is less than the box number when, when is it less than? When the scaling factor is less than 1. The product is greater than the box number when the scaling factor is greater than 1. Okay? All right. Number three. Write a statement using one of the following phrases to compare the value of the expressions. Then explain how you know. 4 times 988 thousandths is slightly more than, is a lot more than, is slightly less than, is a lot less than 4. Well, it's almost 1, isn't it? So it's only going to be slightly less than. Mm-hmm. Because this number, how do I know? Uh, the scaling factor is only slightly less then 1. Okay? 1 and 5 eighths times um, 8 tenths is, okay, so our answer is 8 tenths. Is, is it going, it's definitely going to be greater than, but is it going to be a lot greater than or a little greater than? I think it's going to be only slightly because this is only slightly bigger than 1. Is slightly more then 8 because the scaling factor is only slightly more than 
more than one, okay. 1,725 times 13 thousandths. Well, that is much smaller than one, isn't it? So, is a lot less than 1,725 because the scaling factor is a lot less than 1. Okay, now 989 and 1 thousandths is going to be a lot more than 1 because it's a lot more than 1. It's a lot, a lot more then right, a lot more than one and three hundred thousandths because the scaling factor oh my gosh my handwriting and my spelling terrible because the scaling factor is a lot more than one, okay? And this one, well, nine-tenths, right? I'm going to say slightly less than one, right? So is slightly less than Because the scaling factor is slightly less than one. Okay? All right. Not so bad today. Not so bad. I hope this is a uh, Easily understood. It's the same as yesterday, except we're using decimals instead of fractions. Okay, so finish your problem set, upload it, then come do the exit ticket. And it does ask you to explain how you know, right? Uh, if you have any troubles with the homework, please, um, please ask me in class. Thank you. Oops, wait a minute, I missed a whole page. <gasps> Sorry about that, guys. There's three pages to the problem set. I apologize. Let me go back. All right. During class, Teo, Carson, and Dakir measured the length of their bean sprouts. Ooh, science class. They're growing bean sprouts. Carson's sprout is nine-tenths times the length of uh, Teo's and Dakir's. At Teo's. And Dakir's is one and eight hundredths times the length of tails. Whose bean sprout is the longest, the shortest? Explain your reasoning. Okay, so here we've got tails. All right, we don't know how long it is, but but we're going to use his as the as the as the average here. And Carson's is less than one times. So it's actually going to be less, slightly less, because it's. 9, right? So it's 0.9 times whatever that is. And then Dakir's is 1 and 8 hundredths times the length of Teo's. So Dakir is going to be slightly longer because his is 1 and 8 times whatever that is. We don't know what how long Teo's is, but we de don't need to know to know that Dakir's is longer and Carson's is shorter. Whose bean sprout is the longest? So, Dakir's is the longest. Whose bean sprout is the shortest? Carson's, right? Carson's is the shortest.
explain your reasoning. Well, we don't know how long tails is. We don't know how long it is, but we know that any number times something less than 9 is going to be less than that number. And we don't know what tails is again, but we know that any number bigger than 1 times that number is going to be bigger. Okay, so the factoring or I'm sorry, the scaling factors, those are called scaling factors. The scaling factor for Carson, right? Is less than one and the scaling factor for the cure. I want to spell his name wrong. D H A cure is more than one. Okay, complete the following statements, then use decimals to give an example. Okay, A times B, this, oh, this algebra, I love that, times B is greater than A will always be true when B is greater than 1. And we can use the decimals to give an example. So if A is 2, and B is 1.5, our answer will be bigger than 2, won't it? Okay, A times B will always be less than A when B is less than 1. Okay, and here's another example. 2 times 0.5 is less than two. Okay. All right. Now you can go do your exit ticket. Sorry about that. I forgot a whole page. You thought you got out of it, didn't you? <laughs> it wasn't such a difficult page. Just one story problem and then a couple, a couple little examples. Have to use your brain. Great. Have a great day.